Singley graduate Amanda Jackson is an award-winning poet and spoken word artist whose journey has led her all the way to Carnegie Hall. Here's Kathy with a profile of this promising young artist. Agape, the most pure form of unconditional love that has penetrated the hearts from... Words have power. The power to connect, the power to wound, the power to transform. It is now presented before you in the art of spoken word. Amanda Jackson had a way with the written word that her teachers discovered when she was a sixth grader. She was an incredible writer, a very incredible writer. She came highly recommended by her teacher, Mr. Evans. She was like a brilliant writer. She was a great thinker. She always went deeper into the thinking process. But transferring that gift to the spoken word was a considerable challenge. Amanda was so shy back then. I was a very, very shy person, and I mean, I still am, but I've kind of worked out of it. But I would not speak my name out loud in middle school. So with our uh, kind of focus on spoken word and writing to be heard out loud, you know, um, we realized that we weren't going to get her to say a lot of her things out loud. Amanda was a great writer, but she was not interested in reading in the beginning. A lot of times we encounter young people who are incredibly shy. Amanda was the, the type of student in sixth grade who would gulp just saying her name. It was like, uh-uh, when she had to talk, she would always do that little gulping thing. When, you know, we asked them to get up and share to express their voice to others, she was just so shy. And we knew she was like, ah, she's not ready for the mic yet. She would have to stand next to somebody and have them kind of read with her to get her to be comfortable enough to, to hear her words spoken out loud. Becoming part of the Austin Middle School Spoken Word Club helped Amanda overcome that shyness. I want to feel you. I want to acknowledge you. Why? Because you are worthy. I am worthy. I went to Spoken Word uh, after school one day, and it was always on Tuesdays. Tuesdays ended up being my favorite, favorite day of the week. They still are. And so she and I kind of worked out this deal where she would show me whatever she wrote every single Tuesday that we met, because we met every single Tuesday of her sixth grade year. And I didn't speak a word in class uh, until Diverse Lounge rolled around. Diverse Lounge is an under 21 open mic night where middle school and high school students get to go and get their voice to be heard, have their voice be heard. Will Ritchie founded Diverse Lounge in 2005 as a safe and supportive way for young people to express their unique voices. What happens at Diverse Lounge is we have a live band, we have uh, live art, interactive art, artists, and we have um, uh, young people from middle to high school to college, it's really under 21, who all come in and uh, share original works of their writing. It literally took Amanda all year to decide to read some of her work. All right, so next up is Amanda Jackson. We welcome Amanda Jackson to the microphone. It was the last show of her sixth grade year that she actually got up and came to me and said, hey, I want to read a poem. And Will kind of pushed me up on stage, and I did a piece and she hadn't told her teachers and hadn't told her classmates. And she read this beautiful piece and uh, just got a really rousing ovation from the crowd. And of course, everybody at Austin thought it was, uh, it was amazing. And uh, just the amount of support in the room from the Diverse Lounge family made me think, yeah, this is something I can do. <laughs> I give life and grant death, Genesis and Apocalypse. I give you Proverbs and Philippians and gods. I'm a poet, and you are my people, and tonight I give birth to a galaxy. Amanda has definitely found her voice, and it's paving the way for a very successful future. She's a seven-time Diverse Lounge All-Star and a finalist in Ford's What Drives Your Dreams campaign, a pilot program with Irving ISD. The top three essays of each school was picked and uh, first place for each school was then put into a second round and we each uh, made videos. From not speaking to speaking on camera, it's a good thing that Amanda found her voice. My left foot says go. I move forward relentlessly toward the moon. 
She gives a lot of credit to her teachers and mentors and the Spoken Word Club. Being in the Spoken Word program and being around Will and AP has really solidified the fact that I can do this. Like this is something that I can do with my life and I can help other people with. And not only have I found myself, I've found a way of, of connecting with others and that's highly, hugely important. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting. To learn more about spoken word programs through Journeyman Inc., visit journeymaninc.com.